hi guys welcome to my channel so today i'm gonna make a very easy watercolor painting and if you are new to my channel make sure you subscribe to my channel and also like this video if you enjoy watching this all right so for this i am using all of these materials watercolor paper and two brushes both of them are round uh, middle and the small size now i already cut my uh, this watercolor paper in half so i use a watercolor pad and uh, i cut that in half now i am using this watercolor if you like to know where i get it from you i'm gonna put the link down below but you can use any watercolor you have available if you want to paint with me again so so i'm only using mostly yellow orange green and all those basic colors all right so let's start so do you see this paper have a sharp edges i mean the 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 edges of this paper is very sharp right so i wanna i don't really like that look for the for the painting that i'm going for you can do this part if you want to do it at the end after you are done with your painting but i am just gonna do it right now so i'm just folding the edges like this on the both side like that and then i'm just gonna rip it off and i'm gonna do this on all four sides all right so let's start painting so for this i am using middle size round brush so before i start painting i'm just gonna dip it in my water and then uh, i'm just gonna grab the yellow paint and let me show you this one lemon it's super super easy okay so what i'm gonna do is create the shape i always start with the very small shape and i can just make it bigger if i need to if i want to so i'm just drawing the shape and then i'm just gonna, i'm just gonna fill it inside now i feel like it's still a little smaller one so i'm just gonna slowly work on the edges and create this lemon a little bit more bigger so all time i'm just using one color for now all right so now i'm gonna grab slightly little darker color so this palette have already this uh, lighter color here so i mean lighter orange color here so I can use that just in case if you don't have it you can just mix your orange and the yellow together to make it lighter all right so as you can see I only apply this color on the edges so every time I paint with the watercolor I try to take the pigment very less on my brush because if I need it I can always make it darker but it's hard to remove from there right so I just take like teeny teeny tiny little paint on tape and a little bit of water and just working on the edges going on the edges and kind of making those little dots and you can see what i'm talking about right here do you see i'm not like applying the brush i'm just adding those little dot and it's gonna spread itself automatically i don't have to do anything because i have water and it's just gonna the paper gonna observe it if that makes sense and now i'm taking a little darker color now i feel like that was too dark so i clean my brush and then i take a lighter color again and then go back on those uh, area to make that area more darker all right so my light is coming from left so i'm not really adding anything on the left side on the top all right so now i'm gonna do the same thing i'm just gonna repeat myself um, and i'm gonna add more lemons here
So here I want to show you one trick uh, if you are new to watercolor. Um, so what I really mean is uh, if you feel like you apply too much of paint and you don't like it, this is what you can do. Grab a paper towel and make sure you clean your brush and then take a little bit of water in your brush and then go over that area where you want to remove the paint. It's going to be slightly lighter. It's not going to completely removed. Okay, so I'm just going to take that uh, little bit of water and rub that area just a couple times, not too many times. And then uh, make sure to just go very slow. Apply a little water, go back and forth on that area. Now, I only recommend doing this for the thicker watercolor papers, not thin ones. Uh, if you do this on thin ones, your paper is just going to rip and um, you, you'll you see what happens. So make sure you do it a little bit on thicker paper if you are working on thicker paper. All right, so now I'm going to grab my smallest, smallest brush, my favorite brush. And now I started applying this stamp and also some leaves and everything. And as you can see, I'm not using any uh, sharp line here. I'm just like, you know, going up like on that line a couple more times and um, the tip of this branch is going to be nice and pointy. And I'm just trying to connect all of this lemon with this um, with this um, stem. So yeah. Okay, so um, I'm adding this kind of uh, leaves here. So as you can see, I leave a little space in the middle of that um, leaves so that it looks really looks like kind of a leaves, you know. So I'm not completely feeling inside these leaves. Uh, you can see a little white line there. So when you, if you, I'm sure if you work with the acrylic paint, you usually go back and add watercolor you like on top. But with the watercolor, uh, you cannot do that. So that's why I am doing this way. <laughs> All right. So uh, yeah, if you are following me, if you are painting with me, uh, thank you so much, guys, for supporting my uh, YouTube channel. I really, really uh, appreciate that. Thank you so much. And I cannot believe that I reached to take 6,000 followers on my youtube no i cannot believe that thank you so much everybody who's watching and subscribing to my channel so again if you are new here make sure you give a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel all right so i'm all done with this one branch here i'm just gonna keep adding more leaves where i feel like and as you can see all of these leaves are different shape it's not all same size shape or you know it's all different and that's the best part about watercolor paper like i i mean watercolor uh painting i love to make more watercolors painting too now uh, if you have any other idea you want me to paint uh, i'm doing this for my kitchen and i'm gonna put this print uh not print painting on my um on my kitchen wall so i'll show you in, at the end how i do that
so for the whole time i only use one green now here i feel like i want to add another green shade but i didn't really like it so i ended up uh, cleaning that color and also applied the same color on top of that area again so as you can see this is not uh, looking as good as i really wanted to so that's why um I kind of grab the color that I used before and go over that area to make it darker. All right, so now uh, in this palette, there is this uh, little shade of uh, shimmery white paint. So I'm applying that here and that too only on that white area where I really the light is hitting. So um, yeah, only just the one area. I'll show you at the end like how it's going to look like. But yeah, here I'm all done with this painting. All right, so I put it right here for it to dry and then I'm gonna frame it later. All right, so as you can see here, you can see that little shimmer I was talking about. But uh, yeah, it's almost dry. All right, so it's time to frame. Now I am using this frame. And it's a little dusty, um, so I'm just going to kind of clean it a little bit. And this is 11 by 14 size. So I'll show you a very easy way if your painting is small and you can always frame it. And trust me, everything you frame, it's always going to look good than what it is right now. It will be like 50 times better. Trust me. So yeah, I'm just cleaning my this uh, glass here and then uh, I am just gonna frame this. And again, if you have any uh, any painting that laying around and you don't know what to do, get a frame, frame it and you'll see, you'll be like really surprised. All right, so I was a little confused which color I should use, um, the orange. Or maybe green I go with the green but if I want to change it I can change it anytime right so I apply that matte first and then my painting and then the green paper it's just a cardstock paper okay and then um, just the backing and just put everything together just making sure if it's in the center and it looks like it's in center so I can just uh, close that clip it was just a very easy DIY <laughs> so yeah here I'm all done what do you think about this I'm just gonna put this on wall uh, on couple walls and see how it looks like but look at this I really really like this what do you think about that green should I change the green to orange or any other color I don't know all right, so yeah, I put this on this wall and it was kind of a dark in here. So I thought of uh, putting the mirror back here and I changed the wall and uh, I put it on the other side of the wall and right here. So I guess I'm just going to keep it right here for now. And uh, I'm here all done. Thank you guys for watching my video and I hope you guys enjoyed and make sure you give a big, big thumbs up. If you like this video and also subscribe to my channel again thank you for your support and thank you for watching all right i will see you next time for another diy or the painting all right bye